Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we are down at the off-grid cabin site. Uh, it's come along very nicely. I was hoping to get a little more time on it today, but the rain is coming in way faster than they originally forecast. So I think what I'm going to do is just get the tractor back to the house so I can get it under cover and start on a little job uh, in the shop. So before this rain starts, we're gonna get the grapple on the tractor, pick up the front end loader bucket and get out of here. All right, let's get that in place. Well, the rain has started and it looks like we're going to have probably two days, maybe three days of rain. So I'm going to work on some storage boxes. I've always got odd things that I want to keep and store, uh, like bits and pieces of, uh, I've got a, a dryer vent and some cable and stuff like that, that I have very little use for. But at some point in time, it might come in handy. I am not a hoarder. I am one to get rid of things very quickly. But there are still some things that I want to keep. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, because space is at a premium, I think I'm going to make some storage boxes, stackable storage boxes that I can put outside and it won't be bothered by the weather. Now these are stackable as in it will take the tractor with the uh, forks on the front end loader to stack them up. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make three boxes that are three foot by three foot, and I haven't really decided how deep as of yet, uh, because I don't want them holding huge amount of, of weight. I wanna be able to lift them easily with the tractor and move them around. So I've got all of this wood that was the siding from the front of the house. Now I was just gonna toss it all out, burn it kind of thing. Um, my neighbor wanted a bunch of it, but I've got the idea that maybe I pull the nails out of this stuff and it might be perfectly good for doing my uh, three by three boxes. So I'm gonna start off by getting the nails out of everything and seeing what kind of shape uh, this lumber is in and 
whether it is actually salvageable or not. So that'll take a few minutes because there's a lot of very long nails in this stuff. But let's get at it and see what we can do with this stuff. Well, there's step one. All of the boards that I thought were possibly usable have now got the nails pu pulled out of them. So this is going to kind of decide how big these boxes are because I want this to sit like this kind of thing. So I've got to trim off the crap on them and then uh, see what we're left with. I'm, I was hoping for three feet square, but now I don't think I can get that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I can use all of these boards here, that will give me uh, enough for three boxes. All right, let's uh, set them up on the miter saw and see what we end up with. Okay, so this is my worst one. So let's see what we can end up with here. Look at the bow in that. So if I can get 32 inches, I'll be pretty happy with that, I think. All right, well, that's not terrible. I was to run this board through the planer to take the warp out of it, there wouldn't be anything left. So that is the worst one. I don't necessarily need that one. So we're gonna put it in the pile and use it if we have to. I don't know. beginning to think I'm wasting my time. Well, we'll keep cutting these shorter ones and we'll see what we end up with. All right, so there's enough, just about enough for the sides for two boxes. Now, I was initially thinking I'm only gonna make them, let's see, if I cut this down, these are all 10 inch boards. So I cut them down to get nice and straight, cut them down to eight, it gives me 16. And then I think I will add another four inches or so with some of the other boards over there. So we'll end up with, uh, a depth of about 20 inches on it. That, that should be that should be a pretty good depth. I'll be able to put an awful lot in a box that size. <laughs> and like I say, I don't want to get too much in there because I don't want it to be a pain to lift. So I think just for the fun of it, I'm going to try running these through the planer to take some of the warp out of them and see how they look. So. I mean, why not? Let's see how it goes. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. And if you have, don't forget to give it a like. And I'd really love to have you to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any thoughts, questions, suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the work. All right, let's make some noise. We'll see what happens.
kind of weird. I'm not sure what's happening. how good of an idea this is. way more of a challenge than I thought it would be. That's just one board, but it is flat. And it's about seven eighths in thickness now, which is still lots thick. So that's interesting. Gonna have to give that some thought. Do I want to do this? All right, I have to have a closer look at the planer, make sure everything is still where it should be. Then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. Well, that gives us uh, enough wood right now for the sides for two boxes. Not the bottom, not the tops, just the sides, but that's okay, it's a start. So as you saw, I was having some issues with the planer. I found out what that was. So I'll uh, show you what was going on there. So as you folks know, if you've uh, been following this channel for any length of time, I'm not a carpenter. I uh, was a millwright, so worked with steel, not with wood. This is my first planer, and it's been lots of fun to play with. But what I discovered is uh, the plate on the bottom here was not clean. I have used it a few times. There was a little bit of a buildup in there. So what that was doing was causing the boards to kind of hang up and they wouldn't slide right through. So once I figured that out, I cleaned this and waxed it with a really good wax. And now it's really slippery and the boards went through with no more issues whatsoever. So that was a pretty easy fix. I was afraid there was something wrong with the planer. I had done something to damage it, but no, fortunately not. Like I say, my first planer, we learn as we go. All right, it's dinner time. We'll see you folks in the morning. Well, they look a little bit different now. So uh, what we're going to do is I want to make sure I've got straight edges. I'm going to trim a bit off of both sides here of these boards. And then we're gonna move on to uh, the smaller boards that we're gonna use for the bottom. All right, let's get these trimmed up. Okay, folks, we have got a start here. So much different looking lumber now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 
I know it's it's an iffy thing to uh, be back and forth about whether this kind of work is worthwhile when you consider I've got a sawmill just up the top of the hill here and a drying tent that is full of lumber. But I don't like to waste things. If I have a use for it, I'm going to use it. If I don't have a use for it, I'm going to get rid of it. So I haven't tried this before, but I thought it would be uh, worthwhile trying. So as you know from the start of this video, this is the lumber that came off the front of the house. That's the old siding that uh, I'm going to try to turn into a couple of storage boxes. So this is what I've got so far. I've got a little more uh, recycled pressure treated out in my uh, lumber rack that we're going to use for the uh, runners for the bottom and uh, see if we can put this together. So yeah, it is an awful lot of work. You've got to take all the nails out and it wasn't necessary, but I decided to plane it. I also trimmed the edges, both sides of the boards, so they're going to go together nice and cleanly because I do want the box to be pretty weatherproof. So this is what we've got so far. And I, I would say that's a, a pretty good return from the uh, scrap lumber that we had. It was just going to get burned. But unfortunately, I can't continue on with this now. I got a uh, phone call from my neighbor. He has had a problem with his tractor and has busted it. So I'm going to be going over and helping him finish up a couple of small jobs uh, with the backhoe and my grader box. And after that, we're going to uh, take those two cherry logs that I got and we're going to start the sawmill up and run those cherry logs through the sawmill and see what we get. And we will get back to this as soon as we get time to get back to it. This is kind of a rainy day job and it has been raining. So I'm just going to put this lumber aside for now and then we'll get back to it as soon as we can. So let me know what you think. Am I wasting my time here trying to salvage this lumber? I'd be curious to hear from you. So that's going to be it for today's video, folks. The next video, hopefully, will be sawing cherry logs and helping my neighbor. And we'll see how that goes. So thanks very much for watching. If you've been finding the videos interesting, maybe a little bit entertaining, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would help an awful lot. I appreciate that. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. Now I just need to find a spot to put this.